pastor is no more after fasting for 40 days you don't want to miss this one A pastor in Mozambique has passed after trying to fast for 40 days, emulating what Christ is said to have done in the Bible. Francisco Baraja, founder of the Santa Trindade Evangelical Church, passed at a hospital in the city of Beira, where he was evacuated in you know what condition. After 25 days without food or water, he has lost weight to the point where he could not stand up. He was age 39. To the point where he could not even stand up, bathe or even walk. A few days later, his relatives and followers took him to hospital. Where it is very unfortunate what took place in the pastor's life. I saw that video on TikTok, the one in the background. of one that I want to play also that have more details in what took place in the life of the pastor now. It is not the first time that somebody passed in terms of fasting for 40 days or 40 nights trying to do what Jesus did in Luke chapter 4 viewers and subscribers. But there is something to be known or to be noticed about Luke chapter 4 in terms of Jesus fasting. Luke chapter 4 verse 1 says, And Jesus being full of the Holy Ghost returned from Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness. If you continue to read to verse 2, via our subscriber, it says to be tempted by the devil. No, the pivotal point of this verse is that Jesus was led. One of the things to be learned from this and even fasting for there, many things about fasting, via our subscriber, is not to go into a lengthy fasting like 40 days or 40 nights without food and water, without being led by the Spirit of the living God. This is what the pastor did wrong. My condolences to his family, whoever he is. But he's not the first person that have done something like this. But this is something for us to learn from as believers that we have got to be led. The word of God says in the book of Romans that the sons are the daughters of God are those that are led by the spirit of God. I wanted to watch this TikToker. And tell me what I think. Drop a comment below, viewers and subscriber. And tell me what I think about this vlog. Oh my goodness. This is such a sad story. It's unfortunate. At the same time, it makes you want to ask the question, why though? You see this guy right here. His name is Francisco. Francisco Baraja. I don't know how that's how you pronounce it, but it's spelled B-A-R-A-J-A-H. Francisco Baraja is a pastor of a church he founded in Mozambique. Here's the story. Francisco decided he was going to fast for 40 days and 40 nights. Not only that, he told his members and followers that he was going to go an extra five days to beat the record. What record? Whatever Jesus did wasn't to set a record for any mortal body to, to try to imitate. And fasting is not something you do to compete with anybody for that matter. So that's where I say it makes you want to ask why though, you know? Anyways, when Francisco got you to up to 25 days, his digestive organs started to shut down. That's when his followers and families got worried and decided they were going to take him to the hospital. So he gets treated. He, 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 he was pretty much in a critical condition. When he got to the hospital, the doctors rehydrated him, you know, gave him some serum. And then the moment they started introducing some liquid food, his organ couldn't handle it because they they had already failed. You know, digestive organs had already failed. They couldn't handle it. And that's when he died. This is sad. Like, bro, a couple of people before him died attempting to do this 40 days fast. 
I mean, yo, um, no food, no water, no food, no water, 25 days or more. Like, if you look at the pictures on Google, yeah, I don't know what to say. This, this, this is, I don't know what's going on with the world, but. I'm not saying he did it for fame, for attention, or self-glory, but if you say you're going to do something that Jesus did and go an extra five days to beat racket, mm, it's not for glory. Or this is something that is deeply spiritual when you need to ask God for something, okay?